story time with straight. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's happening, everybody. Street here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Stank Stories. Having a good night, man. Just drinking some beers. Thought I'd come out and uh, have a little discussion with you guys. Some of you guys uh, really enjoyed the last episode of Story Time with Street. So I had some stories for you, and I thought I would share once again. Grab a beer. Smoke them if you got them. You know, strap in, love. You know, it's going to be an adventure. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to give you something. Now, these aren't just like, oh, my God, stories. But they were fun for me. They're fun to share. And you guys know that I like entertaining people. So I hope that you guys find some enjoyment out of this video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell for more videos. It's as easy as that. All right, before we get started, two announcements. So I see y'all checking out my hoodie. Send it. You know what I'm saying? It's got this Bees GT. My own design. Thank you so much for everybody who's bought one and everybody that's supported the channel. Um, I love mine. Uh, you guys have been giving me great compliments on yours, and I appreciate everyone who picked one up. Uh, check out the merchandise link below, Teespring uh, Shop by Street707. And uh, there's a card right here for you for quick access as well. Be sure to go and grab some merch. Um, Second announcement is a lot of you guys have noticed that I have my channel is monetized again. Thank you so much for the support. Without you guys watching, clicking, liking videos, commenting, and showing YouTube that you're participating in the community, um, I never would have got my channel remonetized. So I thank you so much for all the uh, participation. Um, you know, my family appreciates it. You guys are allowing me to earn an extra six and a half dollars a month off of my videos again. Impressive. So. Uh, six pack, baby. Six pack on you guys. <laughs> now, um, you know, YouTube's a great little, you know, side hustle if you can make it, if you got a big enough audience. I don't. Um, I make plenty of money in my job and, uh, you know, it's just a nice little bonus that, hey, you know, every once in a while I get a check for, you know, a couple of bucks and the six are on you guys. So thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get to the stories. So first story is... You know, it's like everywhere I go, um, people are admiring the silver stank. I mean, how could you not? Yeah, it ticks. Okay, it ticks. But, I mean, these, these cars are gorgeous, dude. Absolutely gorgeous cars. They look like, they look special. I'm not going to lie. They look like something special. And when you're driving it down the road and you're crack -a with the track mode exhaust on and, and just, you know, got the shaker audio thumping and just, you know into the swag, feeling it, you know, driving down the street. It just feels right, you know, and people notice that. So I'm sitting at the intersection the other day and uh, just minding my own business when I feel like eyes looking at me, you know? You know when you just get that feeling like, oh, someone, <laughs> someone's looking at me and it's weird. I look out my window and this dude is just hanging out of his truck and he's just staring at the car and, and I like startled him. Thanks, man. <laughs> he was just admiring the ride, you know, and it was funny. And he starts talking to me, he's just like, dude, how much horsepower does that thing have? And I was like, it's got enough, you know? And he's just like, well, like two, three hundred? I was like, four and some change. And he starts laughing, he's like, damn, man, he's like, dude, that's a badass car. He's like, how much did it cost? And I'm like, whoa. Break yourself, whoa. fool! Whoa, guy. It was expensive. <laughs> he's just, so he starts laughing, he's like, yeah, dude. He's like, I get it, you know? And, and then as, I, as I'm leaving, we're laughing because there's all these cars just in the intersection. Nobody knows how to use stoplights or four-way stops anymore. It's like the, the if you're in a turn lane and everybody's turning one direction and the light's yellow and then turns red, but people are still going, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, just because you're in the movement of traffic doesn't mean that when the light turns red, you're still in in the passing lane and you get to just go through. It's like any time at a stoplight nowadays, you have to wait an extra 20 seconds for the other five tobes to go through the intersection on a red light. Whatever. Uh, we were laughing about it. And as, as the traffic's clearing out, you know, he shouts out. Step on it. I'm like, dude, I totally would, but there's so much traffic and we're literally like down the street is like where all the cops hang out. So it's like the intersection is so populated. I guarantee there is a cop somewhere in the vicinity. So 
I'm not just going to romp it. I gave him a little show. I wish I could have gave him one, you know, a little more aggressive just to, just to give it to him. You know, I've had guys in the past, you know, come up on the freeway and they're like eyeballing me, you know, and I can hear their engines, you know, they're like high, high end third on the freeway or something. And you know, they want you to romp it. So I give them a little taste here and there. I get a lot of girls, a lot of, I should say, well, girls and women um, that are very fascinated with the car. I'm not going to go any further than that because my wife don't like it. Um, but and a lot of guys in parking lots will just be like, dude, like sweet stank, bro. And I'll be like, thanks. You know, it's, it's one of those things. I'm sure you guys get it all the time. You know, I'm talking to a community full of Mustang owners. And uh, this one that I got on video is just funny because I startled the guy when he was looking at the car. So story number two, this one was funny. Um, so I'm driving down the freeway um, on my way to work and I got my stereo turned up way loud too. Like it was pretty loud. Like I, I've been really, really enjoying the shaker system lately. Um, I'm kind of an AM radio guy, <laughs> sorry to say. Um, I'm very involved with politics and very involved with current events. And uh, I listen to AM radio a lot, but since I got the car back, I was like, dude, I need to just enjoy this car. Um, I need to enjoy the radio. I need to enjoy everything that comes with it instead of, you know, listening to this mono freaking, you know, AM radio or whatever. So got the, got the XM turned way up and just enjoying it. And I, it's impersonation time with street. So everybody prepare for what is about to hit right now. Okay. So get yourself strapped in. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving along, listen to the radio and I hear in the back over the radio, over the top of it, I hear, oh, oh. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I turn the radio down. I look up in my rear view and this freaking GTR is just weaving in and out of traffic. And it is so loud and so aggressive. Makes me wish I had a GoPro on the rear end so you guys could have seen this. Next thing I know. Get it, shouty. Get it. <laughs> just like a silver streak, man. I was doing 72 or something. This dude is doing at least a buck and some change. And the funny part of it is that there is a freaking highway patrol always on the other side of that overpass in front of me. And that is called, that's what I call um, highway patrol alley. Like there's, there's like five spots within two miles that highway patrol sit constantly. And you do not under any circumstances race or drive aggressively through there. It's just not a good idea. There's lots of on ramps and off ramps. Traffic, it's dangerous, it's stupid, it's not something you should be doing. And here goes this GTR. <laughs> like, holy shit. I was like, this guy is a maniac, dude. He doesn't even know. He's got to be from out of town or something. Had brand new plates on it. Um, I live next to a lot of wineries and stuff, so it's probably some little, you know, vineyard prince or princess. So I was just out there getting it, you know, but... It was funny, man. It, it, it totally took me by surprise. And the the sound that it was making from behind um, was was mind blowing. Like I couldn't believe I could hear it that loudly. You know, twenty car lengths behind me, weaving in and out of traffic. Um, you just hear that damn engine just whoop whoop. I was like whoo. It was pretty badass, dude. I'm not gonna lie. And the first thing that went through my head was, dude. Here is my chance to race a GTR. Yeah, I'm going to get spanked, but I mean, how many chances do normal everyday guys that don't live in LA or freaking, you know, San Jose get to, you know, race a GTR? I mean, you see them on the roads, you know, but you don't see them all the time. It's not like Houston or Dallas where they're just mashing cons. You know, it's like all the car videos I watch, high-end car videos, you know, it's like they're everywhere, but... You know, in my area, you don't you don't see that every once in a while. You see Ferraris, Lambos. You see a lot of uh, some of the tech giants with cars, and you see like vineyard owners, big winery people that have you know supercars and stuff. But you know, they all drive them at fifty five miles an hour in the slow lane, and they don't ever open them up anyway. So it was a cool thing to see anyway. It was it was fun. It was a fun thing. So third and last story, which was pretty funny. Um, I'm driving home from work one night. And I hear this, the same as like the GTR. I hear this, bah, 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 bah. 
and I'm, I'm like, what the hell is that? So I turn my radio down, and I look at my rear view, and I see, I see headlights come in, and they're coming pretty quick. Like, it was aggressive. It wasn't just like somebody trailing up. It was, it was aggressive. And uh, switches over into the fast lane, and as he's creeping up by me, you guys know the placement of my camera is basically just a dash mount. I'm working on getting like a GoPro, um, something that I can do like maybe some um, some POV videos or something that I can like have accessible when like somebody comes up um, and I need to get different angles and things, um, but haven't gone there yet. So I hear him coming up and I look over and it was, Um, had some super loud exhaust, dude. He, he's just ba ba ba. He's crackling, popping, and comes. He comes flying up on the side of me, and then kind of coasts it out. Gives me a couple little revs as he's like driving past, and and then he starts kind of coasting in front of me, and I'm like, dude, is this guy want it? Like, does he? <laughs> does he seriously want it right now? So I'm just kind of I'm kind of pacing him and watching what he's doing. Um, he drives further. He kind of speeds up. He, he, you know, he didn't like stomp on the gas or something. But he speeds up, and every underpass or every overpass he's going underneath, he's firing on his exhaust. You know, you hear it. You can hear it way down the road. Ba 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 ba. And I'm I was like, dude, that thing sounds kind of nasty. So I'm like, maybe he's trying to trying to get my attention, get me, you know. I mean, I I noticed him when he came up on me so aggressively in the first place, firing on his exhaust. I know you're there, bro. I see you. <laughs> but again, you got to pick your battles, man. That was not a good area to be doing runs and pulls. Um, so I kind of paced him for a while, and uh, once we got up into a spot where I felt comfortable, I drop it down into third. I open it up a little bit, and I get up next to him. As I, as I roll up next to him, I start slowing down, or not slowing down, but I start coasting out, and I'm looking at him in the window, and I'm just like, you want to run him? You want to run him? And he's like looking over at me, and he's just like, what, what? And I'm like, you want to run him? I'm like, on three, run him? And he's just like, yeah, it, like he just kind of gives me the nod, you know, and he's like, yeah, and then, you know, yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, he's, he's like, cool. So I'm looking at him, I'm like, all right, let's do it. And I go, one, two, and I romp it, dude. <laughs> just open it up, and I'm just yanking on this guy. And I, I heard him gas it for a split second. Like, like when I romped mine, I could hear him like, whoop, you know, and then it just stopped immediately. And uh, he didn't want it. <laughs> he didn't want it. I don't know if he, if he just... I don't know if he just like downshifted for a minute and then said screw that or if he was just like he attempted it and then would decided against it or, or just didn't participate at all. But I don't know. I was, I was thinking like, okay, you don't want it. Like you came up on me hella aggressive um, and you're, you know, go-karting around on the freeway. And then when the time came down to a perfect, perfect timing session, didn't want it, dude. Like, whatever, whatever, bro. <laughs> like, I haven't had too many opportunities. I find that a lot of people are intimidated by it. I don't know why. Um, Hondas, Hondas in general, are constantly firing on me. The 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 whole hype around uh, Hondas messing around with Mustangs is so true. Like, dude, every Honda I pass that has a fart cannon on it is revving on me. And then the, when it comes down to like, dude, you want some sauce? Like, they don't want sauce. <laughs> they just give you the thumbs up and they're like, no, nah, we're cool. Older vets generally want it a lot. I get a lot of older vets. I've never got one on camera, um, but I've yanked on quite a few older vets that want to test the car and, and then they get all butthurt. <laughs> they, they give you stank face and then do the flyby and you're like, whatever, bros. <laughs> you know, and then, and then you get the other guys that are just in, you know, every everyday vehicles that just kind of come up to you and, and they kind of throttle on it just to get you to open it up a little bit. And I'm totally down for those because I'm the same way. Um, you know, like I said, when I see vineyard um, winery owners or tech guys that are driving around in Ferraris, Maseratis, you know, uh, Lambos and things, I might give them a little sauce just to get them to open it up and, 
and generally they don't. But every once in a while, you get that one guy that just like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. Just you see the rear end just slap to the ground and bah! <laughs> so that's fine, you know. And I, I get that. So I'll appease people when they try to get me to just kind of give them a little something. So you got to. I mean, why not? You know, it's, as long as you can do it safely, um, you know, it's a good thing. Although you got to watch it now because people on YouTube are getting arrested for crap. So that's another discussion. That's another story time with Street. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that on another day. But I hope you guys enjoyed those couple of little stories. Just some stuff that happens on a day-to-day -day basis that I can't necessarily make a video out of. Um, but I have fun talking to you guys and doing things like that. I know a lot of you guys are just here to get updates on the car and stuff, you know, but... I don't want my channel to turn into what it already has and you know and that was like negativity around the mustang i want my mustang videos to be fun um you know i'm i'm, I'm never going to be able to compete with xander and, and staying mode and you know r-rated cars and just some of these guys that are out just you know making videos all the time i i work far too much um and i have a boring life for the most part but I do enjoy our time together and uh, I enjoy, you know, entertaining you guys whenever I can. So be on the lookout for more videos and don't forget to once again, pick up some merch, baby, because it's helped support the channel. It's going to help me buy a new camera. It's going to help me get some new gear and show the wife that, uh, you know, I can make a little side money doing some fun stuff with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at SilverStang707, which they have already been experiencing a lot of these photos, videos, and things that you guys only get every once in a while. So if you guys want more content, hit me up on Instagram because I'm posting on there way more than I post on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.